guys, what is up and welcome back. If you're new, make sure you click that subscribe button right down below to become an official Foxer because today we're making some miniature squishy Oreos in a little milk cup that you guys can store them in. So I teamed up once again with Crafty Amino, which is one of my favorite apps, and we decided to challenge you guys to come over to Crafty Amino and post your own DIYs to enter a giveaway for a $30 Amazon gift card. You can recreate one of my DIYs or showcase your own creativity. I will be looking at all of your creations and picking a winner next weekend. You guys can find me under my username, which is GlamourLifeFox, just like my channel name. I'm going to have all the contest details over there on my page. To tell you guys a little bit more about Crafty Amino, for those of you that are not familiar with it, it's just this really awesome outlet for creativity and it's available on both Apple and Android. It's just this really awesome community for crafters and I also love using Crafty Amino to get inspired for video ideas. I will say I'm definitely addicted to using it religiously. I just need to make it a habit to actually post my own DIYs over there more often often, which I haven't been doing, but I still love going on Crafty Amino, getting ideas, because there is just so much creativity here, and I'm just going to show you guys, you know, what some of the pages look like. You can see some posts from other people that use Crafty Amino and share their DIYs. There's just so much creativity here. I just love it. To tell you guys the truth, it actually reminds me a lot of a Tumblr blog. It's just really, really easy to use. And there are different blogs on Crafty Amino for different categories of DIYs. For instance, I've actually found categories that are specifically for DIY school supplies and DIY phone cases. Just stuff like that to kind of give you guys an idea and perspective. And with the holidays coming up, I think it would be really cool to just use Crafty Amino to get some inspiration for like DIY Christmas gifts or even ornaments and decor. It would be so awesome to use. I'm going to have the download links at the very top of the description box for you guys. So definitely check it out. And also come and enter my contest. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started on our DIY. We're just going to need some simple things here, so nothing too extravagant. I'm going to use some miniature Oreos to make my molds. And speaking of mold, I'm also going to be using a mold kit and also this 3D fabric paint, which I'm picking up here to show you guys. And let's see, what else am I going to be using? Oh yeah, a big giant sponge, some glycerin, and also some white food dye. And also I'm going to be using these little clear plastic cups, which you can pick up at the party store. Unfortunately, my head is still really stuffy, so I'm sure I might sound a little stuffy to you guys, I'm not sure. But I'm just taking equal parts of my mold kit and I'm just rolling it together, fusing the two colors. And then I'm just going to press this kind of on top of a Oreo cookie and I'm just going to flatten it out and just basically kind of um, imprint the cookie into that little round cylinder that I made. And that's going to give me the illusion of an Oreo cookie. <laughs> and I made about six of those because that'll make three cookies and I'm just going to let those cure for about 20 minutes. So while those are sitting and curing, I'm going to move on to my milk cup. And this is just something I made as an extra thing, just something to kind of store the little squishy Oreos in. So I'm going to take two of these little um, shot glass kind of plastic cup things that I got from the party store. And I'm going to cut one of those open like I'm doing here where there's like a split going all the way down. And that's basically going to enable me to make this cup smaller so that it fits inside of the other cup, which I will not be cutting into. I also used a third cup to pour in some glycerin and then I just dropped some white food dye in there. I'm using gel food dye because that's what I had. And I just mixed that up and that creates my milk which I will be pouring into my other cup later on. You guys will see. So I already hot glued the little split shut on my cup and now I'm just going to take off that trim. Like the, let's see, what do you call it? Like the edge of the cup. I'm just going to cut that off, but I'm going to save that because I'm actually going to use it to insert inside of the two cups. I'm probably not making sense here, but you guys can kind of follow the video clips to see what I'm doing. And I've already gone ahead and put the smaller piece of the cup that I made into the big one. And here I'm just going to very slowly and carefully pour that glycerin into the sides here. And I actually glued the bottom of the little cut into the big one, if that makes sense. <laughs> Next, I'm going to take that rim that I cut off from the little cut that I made, 
and I'm just going to glue that to the inside. I'm actually going to cut the rim a little shorter so that it fits. And I'm just going to use my hot glue to go around the edges, fill in any gaps. And this is going to keep that milk from spilling out. And that way it'll look like there's milk inside of a glass, but it'll never leave the actual glass. So it's pretty creative. Returning to my Oreos, which are good to go now. As you guys can see, they have a very rubbery kind of squishy consistency and that's why I chose to use this molding kit because it's very squishy and very flexible and I was also showing you guys how that looked with the fabric paint and that's why it's very important to use fabric paint because it'll flex with the silicone and also the sponge which I'm going to start cutting out here for my filling I'm just gonna cut out a little round shape and just kind of trim around it if it's not perfect so I've already painted my Oreos black and I've painted the sponges white so now all that's left to do is just glue the pieces together create a cookie and we're done we've got little squishy flexible Oreos I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I didn't film an intro. I was kind of crunched for time, but make sure that you click that subscribe button for more videos and also go and check out Crafty Amino and enter my little contest that I've got going on. All the details will be on my Crafty Amino page. You can find me under Glamour Life Fox and I will have the download links for you guys at the top of the description box. I'll see you here next time. So until then, stay foxy.